Hi students. In this video we're going to go over how to send multiple parts to the 3D Print Club all in one submission. The first thing we need to do is create STL files of everything that we'd like 3D printed. So I'm going to click on the housing and I'll say file, save as. We're going to do copy and continue for this. And we're going to save it as an STL file. Okay, we can close that. We'll do the rotor. Okay, there's two. Number three, the back housing. And two more to go. We have the motor mount and the air inlet nipple. Okay, looks good. And lastly, the motor mount. Okay, we have all of our parts converted to STL files. Now we're going to go over to Cura, the 3D print slicing software. If you don't have this, you can simply go to the Ultimaker website and download it. It's free software. And now we're going to bring in all five of those parts that we want 3D printed. So I'm going to say open the inlet barb. Notice that the barb is not oriented correctly, so I'm going to click on it. These are the arrows for translation, but I want rotation. So I'm going to click on the rotate icon so that the rings come up. I'll rotate it vertical. There's our first one. We'll bring in the motor mount. We'll rotate that one. We'll bring in the turbine rotor. And I'm just, I see that they're overlapping, but I'm going to let that happen for right now. We'll bring in the housing. Notice it's grayed out, it's beyond the limits of the 3D printer. But that's okay, we'll solve that too and the cover. The cover came in on top of the other one but again that's okay. So I'm going to go to the top view and I'm going to start moving these around. So I'll click on my rotor. I'll use the, tr the move translate. And I'm going to put that in the upper corner. I'll click on the motor mount. Put that in the upper corner. Grab the inlet nipple. Move that. And our housings. Okay, everything's yellow. We're good to go. Let's go back to our isometric view. The only thing that I don't like is I'd really like to have the inside of this be facing up. The vertical, excuse me, the skyward facing faces are printed much smoother than the undersides. So let's rotate that. Go 
go back, translate. And that looks good. Okay, we have five pieces on our build platform. Over here, we have the name of the file that's going to be created. So I'm going to change this job name to my turban. And we're going to hit slice. Okay, so if I want an Ultimaker 2 Plus generic PLA with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and let's see, about 17% infill, no supports, this is going to take 9 hours and 12 minutes. I can certainly change this if I'd like. So if I want more infill and solider parts, I could move that up. For this part, I should probably put supports under that. So if I change those, I can re-slice it. Now I'll save it to a file. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. Hit save. And there it is, my turbine G code. So this file I can now email to 3D Print Club and they can simply upload that and print all of my parts directly. So that's a pretty good deal. So that's about it, folks. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.